I'm so hungry. Oh man. I'm currently obsessed with post-it notes, sticky note things, I think. I didn't know I was, but I think I am. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Did you hear my belly? Right, so. I did a post on Instagram asking if anyone wanted to see a Q&A, so here it is. I got sent quite a few questions and I don't know if I'm going to have time to answer them all, so what I did was I wrote them all down on post-it notes and here they are. So I'm going to randomly pick them out and then answer them and see how many we get done. Thank you to those of you who did write me some questions. I have read some of these and I have tried to think of some answers, but a lot of them I didn't know and I just didn't think about them again. So I could be sat here for a long time thinking of answers, but let's just see how it goes. So the first one is Marvel or DC. So I like Marvel. I haven't watched much DC. I haven't read comics so I can't comment comment comic can't comment on that side of things but in terms of like films and stuff I have watched a lot more Marvel. I've hardly watched any DC so I would go with Marvel. I prefer like X-Men and Wolverine. Like those kind of ones instead of Avengers. So yeah, that's where I am with that. <laughs> Number two is fave film so my all-time favorite film is jurassic park i've mentioned that quite a lot on my channel i think but yeah i love dinosaurs and i i just i really 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 <laughs> love jurassic park it's a classic and i still i love um Jurassic World as well even though like sometimes when they remake films or carry on films in the future they're not as good but I like them all so yeah Jurassic Park is my favorite film number three is <laughs> when will you buy from us and that was from Hull Pops um soon <laughs> I don't know I will buy from you at some point yeah <laughs> i'm trying not to buy too many pops at the moment so videos that are going up like for the next quite a few videos are already ones i bought i'm trying to cut down at the moment but definitely when things pick up again i will be buying off you so yeah the fourth one is do you like tiny ghosts Go does that come up weird i'm saying ghosts ghosts ghost ghost with an s on the end i don't know why it doesn't sound right when i say it but yeah do you like tiny ghosts i read that one and i didn't have a clue what you're on about <laughs> but i then googled tiny ghosts and if you're on about the i'm gonna have to google it again because i'm not sure now if you are on about the bim toy tiny ghost figures they are amazing i've never seen them before they're so cute i really like them they're awesome. So yes, the answer is yes if that's what you're on about. If you're not on about that then no clue. Number five is what part of the UK are you from? I am from the Midlands which is in the middle of the UK. So yeah, the Midlands. I don't know what number, I've lost count now. What was the best band you've seen live? So this is such a hard one to decide on because I've seen quite a lot of bands live. So I'm into like rock, metal, kind of alternative genre of music. I can't, it's really hard to choose. So I have different categories for, <laughs> for what's the best live music I've seen. So Iron Maiden are awesome. Their live shows are literally shows, as in they put on like amazing, like they have huge Eddie figures, they have a huge like Eddie model that someone like walks inside, they have fire, they have like crazy, they had one of those planes come in on one of the shows. It's just awesome in terms of things that, that like props and stuff that they use. In terms of like being at a gig, being in the, in the crowd, in the pit and jumping around and getting 
thrown around and stuff. <laughs> Papa Roach, Papa Roach, however you say it, was one of the best gigs a while ago, a few years ago when I saw them. I saw them in, uh, where was it? I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was really, really good. It was amazing. This is, is so hard. There's a band called Holding Absence, which you should all go check out because they are amazing. Look. I'm always wearing the merch and everything, but yeah, go and check them out. They are incredible too. In terms of sound, like they would probably, I'd probably pick them for that. So, uh, I can't, there's just too many to choose from. So Avenged Sevenfold were really good. We went to see Beartooth a couple of months ago. They were awesome, the, the crowd was awesome and I got lots of bruises, which is always a sign of a good gig. I probably missed a lot out, but yeah. The best band I've seen live, there's a few because of different reasons, but there, there, that was it. <laughs> that was a long-winded kind of answer, wasn't it? Next one is, how long have you been collecting pops and which one started it all off? So I got a few questions which were quite similar. So this one kind of incorporates both of the things that I've been asked. So how long have I been collecting? I think we started collecting in 2014 maybe 15 i'm not sure i can't remember so i'd say about five or six years that kind of area which one started it all off i cannot remember i asked chris this when a few people asked me which was my first pop and stuff like that we can't remember at all i don't know why we just can't remember which one was our first i'm feeling it was maybe like a harry potter one or a disney one maybe actually but i I really don't have a clue. I can't remember at all. I think we probably bought it from Forbidden Planet when we were in there. But yeah, I'm sorry, I can't answer that, but I, I can't remember, I really can't. <laughs> what got you into collecting Funkos? Again, I don't really know. I think we were just in Forbidden Planet and we'd seen them in there and thought they were pretty cool. And then maybe just got one and then it went from there. So. I don't really know. I think it was just the fact that we'd seen them when we'd been shopping and stuff and then we, we liked them and just decided to start maybe get a few and then you know what it's like. You kind of get addicted to them and then you end up with this many. Yeah, I think it was just the fact that we'd seen them and liked them and decided to get a few. I don't know how many are doing here. I think I'm doing quite a lot. Okay, so this is what is my favourite band, which is a similar question to what I've just answered because my all-time favourite band is Iron Maiden and that's the one that I was like always say that's my favourite band. That was the band that kind of got me into like the alternative metal kind of music. My dad is a fan of Maiden and he used to listen to it a lot when I was younger so I think that's what kind of moved me on to like this kind of music taste so they're always going to be my favourite band because of that reason. But in terms of like now, I don't know. I listen to a lot of bands and I try to change it up with what I'm listening to really because if I listen to one band for too long then I kind of get a bit bored. Not because they anything to do with them, but I think it's just good to change it up. So Avenged Sevenfold, Architects, Beartooth, Trash Boat is good. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out. Hold an Absence, like I said before. What else do I like? Um, what else am I listening to at the moment? I'm enjoying listening to Frank Carter at the moment, so Frank Carter on the Rattlesnakes, but I'm listening to his acoustic, ac acoustic? Acoustic songs, and he's just really good. Um, Kill Switch Engage, they're good. Slipknot are good, Stone Sour. Shinedown, I used to love Shinedown. They changed their music type a little bit and I kind of went off it, but they're old stuff I really enjoy. My Chemical Romance, obviously, like a massive, part of my life growing up bullet for my valentine i know this is not what you asked you asked what my favorite was but i'm just giving you a whole list and all yeah there's probably more that i can't think of but definitely go and check out holding absence trash boat and all the rest maiden and my all-time favorite band right next one i think i might have to leave it after this what tips or advice would you give someone trying to increase youtube viewers um, I do not know. I need tips myself. <laughs> when I first started YouTube, I think what helped me a lot was 
watching other people that do similar videos and commenting on their videos. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's that's how I kind of got more viewers because I was watching other people's videos, commenting on their videos and then maybe they were going to watch mine and commenting on mine. I don't I don't really know. I need I need some advice on that myself really. Next one. How many have we done now? Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've done ten. I'll do a couple more. So do you like Toki Doki? Please start collecting. Is that how you say Toki Doki? Toki Doki? Toki Doki? <laughs> I don't know how you say it and you know how bad I am with pronouncing things. So yeah, I have seen them. I think they're really cute but obviously pops are my thing. So I do think they're really cute and I do like them, but I don't think I'll start collecting them while I'm still collecting pops. But yeah, they are really cute and I do like kawaii kind of cute things, so. So that's 11, we'll do 12. Last one. Oh, I might as well another one. This is first Funko Pop you ever bought yourself, which is really similar to another question that I've answered, so I will do another one. But thank you for that question. <laughs> Last one. Oh no, this is kind of similar to how long have you been collecting for, which I've already answered in that other one as well. But yeah, thank you for that question as well. <laughs> but I'm gonna do another one. Oh no, I can't answer this one. <laughs> This is what's your favourite Funko and I cannot answer that one. I was tagged months ago in a like top three favourite Funko Pops so I will be doing a video on that at some point which gives me a little longer to think of the answer. So yeah, come and watch that at some point. I will be doing that, hopefully. But I'm not going to answer it now because yeah, you have to wait. So I will do one more. I never get around this, I swear. This is first ever pop, which I've already answered and I don't really know. So I'm gonna pick another one. If you could dye your hair any color, what would it be? I kind of do dye it any color anyway. So I've dyed my hair quite a lot of colors over the years. Maybe not completely different colors, but I've dyed my hair quite a lot. I think if I could dye it without having the damage, then I'd probably bleach it all and then just put colours in it like all the time. At the moment I kind of got purple in my hair at the bottom but I don't like dyeing like all of my hair just because it takes so much bleach to do it and it really ruins your hair like this is already ruined so. But I've had multicoloured in the bottoms of my hair before so I've had like different colours in it all. It's just a lot of upkeep to do something like that. If I could dye my hair any colour right now, I don't know. Because I kind of just do what I want anyway with it, so. I think I'd just change the colour all the time if, if it didn't damage my hair, so. And if I could be bothered, because that's my main issue here. <laughs> but yeah, that is my answer. It's kind of like, I don't know. I'd just do all sorts of colours, I think. But yeah, thank you for those questions. If I haven't answered your question in this video, then I'm sorry, but I can't do them all. If you like this, then let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another one in a little while. Yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.